Hi everybody, I'm Katherine Kamen, Technical Seed Agronomist for Winfield United, and today I have with me Rachel Willis, Technical Agronomist for Calvin Asgro. I'm excited to be talking with Katherine today and partnering up to talk a little bit about fungicide. We're going to talk about the why, the when, and the what of fungicide today. So research shows that you get the most bang for your buck when you spray a fungicide application at that VT to R1 time frame. Clearly we're standing in a field that isn't anywhere close to that time frame or that growth stage. So why are we talking about this now? Well, this corn's going to grow quick. You know, right now we're accumulating about 20 to 25 GDUs per day. And when you think about it, corn at this stage takes about 82 GDUs per day to put out a new leaf collar. Corn gets about 18 to 20, depending on the hybrid leaf collars on it total. So before the tassel comes out, we have to get about probably nine to 10 more leaves out. So, you know, where it's going to be coming up here shortly. And after V10, it only takes about 55 GDUs per day for a new leaf collar. So after it reaches V10, it's gonna start growing a heck of a lot quicker than it has been. So fungicide season's gonna be here. It's The corn's gonna be tasseled before we even know it. Thanks, Catherine. So let's talk a little bit about why we would even need a fungicide. We know when to do it, but why should we be doing a fungicide? So when I think about fungicides, I think of um, kind of two different buckets. So you have your disease mitigation bucket mm -hmm. and then you have your plant health bucket. So for the disease mitigation bucket, it, that's when you have a situation where you have hybrids that are um, susceptible or moderately susceptible to your very common diseases. In my geography, the common fungal diseases include gray leaf spot. That's probably my number one disease that I see year in and year out. But in a lot of, of my geography now, I would consider tar spot to be a common disease as well. I've been able to find it for several years now. Northern corn leaf blight is another one. And then um, southern rust can very occasionally be a, a disease. It's not common, but when it arrives, you know, at that reproductive stage or even before that, it really can be devastating to yield. So the other thing, when I think about disease mitigation, you have a very susceptible hybrid or a moderately susceptible hybrid, or you have conditions that are conducive to that disease development. It's things like corn on corn, high residue fields, or weather that is just really conducive to disease mitigation or to disease development, like um, warm and humid conditions. Now we talk about spraying fungicides to help prevent these diseases. We can also spray fungicides for the plant health benefits. You know, Winfield United looks at, um, we call them response to scores, and we look at response to fungicide. And that's where we spray prophylactic applications of fungicide to see what that yield boost is gonna be from that fungicide application. We look at this across not only cropland hybrids, but also across our partner hybrids, so DeKalb hybrids. And we look at untreated to treated with fungicide, and we see that yield difference, and we bucket it into high, moderate, and low scores. And those sto scores are very statistically sound, so we have faith in the data behind it. And we can position these um, fungicide applications on hybrids that you know, ultimately have moderate to high response. And year over year, we have about a 16 bushel, um, 16 bushel per acre benefit um, across the hybrids with the fungicide, res or fungicide application. Yeah, I really love that you guys do that because I feel like those response scores really combine those two buckets that we talked about, the mm -hmm. disease mitigation, the susceptible hybrids, as well as their response to that, that plant health benefit. Right. So it's a really nice package to help simplify things for us. Yeah. Yep. yeah. So we know why we need to be spraying, but Rachel, what should we be spraying is the question now. When I think about fungicide, I, it's important to be using a, a high quality, multiple mode of action fungicide. Most fungicides that are on the market will have that strobilurin fungicide, which is the, the plant health benefit that we talked about. Mm -hmm. It also prevents new infections. And then we also have the triazole. The triazole is the chemistry that um, prevents new, inf prevents, sorry, the triazole is the chemistry that um, stops current infections. So any infection that's already occurred in that leaf will be halted by that triazole chemistry. Now, most chemistries, like I said, most fungicides, like I said, have that um, strobe, strobilurin, and the triazole. But a lot of times that triazole residual wears off very quickly. So the strobilurin will have a nice long lasting residual, but when that triazole wears off, you're back to relying on one mode of action. When you have that one mode of action that you're relying on, you have a greater chance of developing resistance. Mm -hmm. So I like Delaro for a lot of reasons, but one of the reasons that I really like Delaro is that um, it has the, the residuals of that triazole and that strobilurin are matched up. So we have a long lasting residual of two modes of action. So it's a really good disease management strategy, but it's also a really good resistance management strategy. Mm -hmm. 
Well, yeah, and Winfield United also in the answer plots, we test out um, oodles of different fungicides. And I know off the top of my head that Delaro the past couple of years has had positive ROI shown when you apply to corn. Good, so hopefully um, we've kind of answered a few of the questions that folks may have about about fungicides, talking about the, the when, the why, and the what of fungicides. So a quick recap on that, Rachel, um, the when, just know what growth stage your corn is currently at and be prepared for how quickly the tassel is gonna be emerging. Um, the why, um, know what, what hybrid you guys have and what the response to scores are to know whether or not a fungicide application will make, make you money in the end. And then the what, make sure you use a high quality, multiple mode of action fungicide like Delaro to protect your corn out there. So thanks for partnering with me today, Catherine. Sure. Thanks for that nice summary. And thanks for your attention on fungicide. Have a safe season.